Hi, I just wanted to go over here for part two of Advanced Find, kind of go into a little bit more detail of where I left off. I had done a filter on just accounts. We were looking at just specific fields directly on the account record itself, and we used the account form as our cheat sheet to build this. We looked at relationship type, the status of the record, and then the state, province. We were looking for Ohio and New York for customers that are currently active. Uh, that's one thing Advanced Find can do, but it is more robust than that as well. So I want to kind of dig into those features now. Besides just looking for fields on a specific record, in this case the account, I can also look across record types that are related and uh, do filters that way as well. So for example, if I want to find all of my customers in Ohio and New York that also have an open opportunity, I can do that through Advanced Find. If I click on the fields area, you can see here that the first column heading is fields, and I can scroll through all the different fields that are available on the account record. I'll go skip right past those, and then I get another column heading called related. These are all records that are related to the account. You can see I can look at parent account. I can look at contacts. You can see here through the company name. I want to look specifically at opportunities, as I was talking about. So I want to look at opportunities tied to an account. So I'll open that on. And then you can see that the, the ribbon or the bar here changes. It's in blue, and it tells me this is looking at a related record. So it's no longer looking at fields directly on the account. I'm now looking for fields on the opportunity. If I click this, you can see that that's what the case is. If I scroll through here, the estimated close date, estimated revenue, those are all fields from the opportunity itself. So to start with, I want to look at just that have an open opportunity. So I'm going to look for the status field. So status equals open. And we'll take a look and see what we have. So all the accounts are customers in Ohio, New York, who currently have an open opportunity with us. If I click results, I get two. I have one in Ohio and one in New York that have a currently open opportunity that someone is working. So then if I wanted to filter it down even further, I can, just like we did on the account, I can filter down further on the opportunity. So maybe I want to say, like, also has not just an open opportunity, but the opportunity is over a certain amount. So maybe estimated revenue is greater than $500,000. Click results, and now I just have one. So the other account, open opportunity, was not worth at least $500,000. So if I wanted to filter down that way, just focus on the accounts that have a higher value, currently open opportunity, I can do that. So then I can look at Northwind Traders, which I have open in the background here. If I scroll down on this form, you can see their recent opportunities. They have, it looks like, five different open opportunities currently. If I scroll over, I can see that some of them are worth well over $500,000. So it's another way that you can filter the data in CRM. You can look across record types. So this one's looking from accounts down. It's still returning in the look for field. It tells you this is what it's going to return. So even though I can filter on the opportunities, it's not returning the opportunities because I'm looking specifically at the accounts. If I wanted to pull the data in for the actual opportunities themselves, I can. I would just have to go from the other side of the um, relationship. I look from the opportunity up to the account as well. So if you wanted to do that one, you just switch what you want to look for, and then you're returning the actual results on the opportunity itself. So you can see I switched it. It removes all the filters. So I can say here, status is open. So you can see again that right now I'm looking at the fields on the opportunity because I changed the look for. So status equals open. And Estimated revenue is greater than $500,000. If I click results now, this is, as you can see, only giving me the opportunities, which is what I want. So here's all the open opportunities currently in the system for all the different customers that we have or, or accounts that are worth over $500,000. If I wanted to go back and filter it down just to the customers who are active in New York and Ohio like I had, I can do that as well through the same thing. So instead of going to fields, I scroll down to related records and go through the account. And I can say state province equals Ohio. And just rebuild the filter that I had before. So select these because these are grouped as an OR statement. And then relationship type equals customer and status equals active. Click results. 
And you can see here, though, three opportunities we saw earlier uh, from Northwind traders. So there are three open opportunities for Northwind traders, but this is looking from the other side of the relationship. So it is returning just the opportunity. So the look for is very important when building an advanced find. It tells you this is what I'm going to get when I click the results. I'm only going to get opportunities, but I can do filters across other record types as well. So as you can see, this one's a little bit more robust. It's looking from the opportunities up at the account it's directly related to. Um, hopefully this helps. I appreciate you watching it, and I'll see if I can add more to the advanced find because there are some more features in there as well. Thank you very much.